This is the worst hurricane in the history of Texas. We weren't expecting it to be as bad, but at last minute, it jumped up to category four. Oh, it was whistling and whipping and very scary. You walked outside, transformer boxes are just, just everywhere. I could hear the wind and the rain uh, blowing really, really hard. My daughter called and said, Mom, you all need to get out. And I said, no, we cannot get out. It's too strong now. I'm just glad we made it through it. I can't tell you how grateful I was when I saw Samaritan's Purse on my phone because all the empathy in the world that you need is right here. People care about their neighbors, but the expertise isn't here. And to know that the expertise was, was coming in and that all these people with such wonderful hearts and such incredible skill, they've been through it so many times, it's meant the world to us. The damage with Hurricane Harvey is very widespread. It's all up the southeast coast of Texas. And people have lost not just their homes, um, they've lost time on their jobs. Some of them have lost their jobs as a result of the storm. Right now, we're doing the windborne portion of the storm. So we're cutting um, the trees down, we are tarping roofs, we're trying to dry these houses in that have been damaged before more rain hits. Um, and then as the floodwaters recede, we'll begin mudding out the homes and taking that sheetrock insulation out that's been damaged. When we pulled up, we got to meet Miss Mary. Um, she's the homeowner here. She uh, was just had tears of joy when she saw us here and thanked us. She's so very thankful that we're here. When I came home and saw the damage of everything with the ceiling, the insulation all over the floor, everything's ruined. The furniture, everything is ruined. We had some trees in the back. Those fell over too. And then I have the one in the front. It actually uprooted. And it just so happened I found, you know, y'all's number and thank God, you know, I called it and Samaritan's Purse came to us. When I came this morning, they were already here. All I can do is hug them, say thank you. They're wonderful. What a gift. It's a very big, 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 big help. Samaritan's Purse has just been awesome. Um, they can take people who have no experience at all and just kind of organize everybody. They have all the tools they need. And um, yeah, I think it's just a great way to pull people who want to help out together to uh, really make a difference. We need volunteers for sure. I mean, the more people we have, the faster we can help these people um, get back into their homes. The sooner we can get volunteers, the better. These homes need to be dried in. They need to be tarped. Um, so as soon as people can get out and help, we need them. Um, we also need prayers. We need prayers for safety. We need prayers for the residents here. They've been hugely affected. Um, and then we also need people, if you can't come, pray and donate. Um, we need the resources here to help these people.